So, Brian, I want to talk to you also about uh, Robert Hainsey and what he was able to do because he did start at guard and then he also played some center. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously we know he can play tackle. So those are all, all important boxes to check for him because I think his versatility is going to help him when it comes to uh, people's NFL boards. Um, it, let's start with practice. Uh, from day one to day three, how was Robert Hansey in practice? I don't think there was a player from Notre Dame that helped his draft stock more than Robert Hansey during the week okay. of practice. And, and, and you know, I know I'm kind of reversing it a little bit, but I think that's the best way to sum up what he did this week. It was just – it was Robert Hainsey at his finest, and and by that I mean there was no flash, there was no him taking a, a guy off the line and driving him back five yards and putting him on his back. It was just winning rep after. Remember that when Charlie Sheen like lost his mind a few years ago, and he just kept using the word winning all the winning, time. Like winning. that was that was Robert Hainsey like rep winning. You know, like the yeah, the kid from yeah. Texas who had like a couple really big plays in the backfield. Uh, in the game on Saturday, I forget his name, but he's a D tag from Texas. Like that was the first play he made all week because he kept getting matched up against Robert Hainsey in practice. And it was just <laughs> loss, 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 you yeah. know? And, and so I thought he had a great week of practice. I thought, uh, you know, obviously he's going to be technically sound. You know, I think there was a couple times where he gave up a little bit of ground in pass blocking. Cause it looked like he still had a, that, that instinct of, of the depth you get as a right tackle, yeah, <laughs> you know? Right. But he quickly worked that stuff out. Uh, you know, he was he was strong at the point of attack. Guys would try to bully him, and they couldn't because you you look at him. He's not a big guy. Sure. Uh, you know, he's got a thin lower body, and you think I can push this guy around. And so then they try to do like their power moves on him, and it just stones him. You know, yeah. like the USC guy tried that on him in the first quarter of the game, USC. and he just like the guys. It, it's like you ever see um you ever saw I think it was like Necessary Roughness. Remember that movie back in the day. Oh, and, and uh, the Ireland, uh, yeah, Robert Loge is on the um, the one man sled, and like nobody can move it. You know, they're like just their feet are moving, but they're not going anywhere. That was the USC D tackle trying to get a bull rush on Robert Hainsey. You know, nothing, nothing uh, makes me happier than to hear that. By the way. <laughs> yeah, Insane. and um, you know, just the consistency of them, this winning rep after rep. He's over there coaching Aaron Banks up after practice. You know, he's signing autographs right. for little kids. Uh, two-time captain, but look, all those things are great, but you got to be able to play, and Robert Haynes, can play. He played yeah. He played four different positions at one point during the week. The only position I didn't see him line up in in practice was left tackle. He took a couple reps at right tackle and one-on-ones. He played left guard, right guard, and center during practice. In the game, I think he only played center and right guard, but right. in practice, he played four, four or five positions. And his ability to, to make plays was there at all of them. You know, I thought he had one bad snap that I really saw all week. And I think it was on on the third the third practice uh, in the red zone. He had a snap that that kind of was at Ian Book's shoelaces. Well, and it was because Book, it was Ian Book. So, I mean. Right. He, he was just trying to give Ian a chance to show off his athleticism. That's right. That's uh, which right. he did by catching it and making a play. Uh, but I just thought that consistency, that steadiness that we saw from him all practice, uh, all week in practice was, was kind of what you and I have seen from him in games for years. Yeah. I think the big thing for, for me too, that where Robert Hainsey helped himself in practice was he weighed in at over 300 pounds. Oh, He's wow. never over 300 pounds in Notre Dame. He weighed in, at, I think 304, his arm length measurements were, were almost identical to Zach Martin's. So, you know, he didn't have. He, you knew he was going to be have shorter arms, which is why he's projected to play inside, it's not a tackle. Interior, yeah. But it wasn't so short that it's a problem, you yeah. know. It, and that was the kind of thing you worry about. It's like, okay, you, you you're okay with shorter arms for a guard, but are they too short? And that was not an issue. So he checked that that box. But the big thing is, okay, can he be over 300 pounds and still play well? Can he still be quick? Can he still have the endurance? Because you know how it is, Vince. A guy can put any any offensive lineman can get up to 305 pounds, but some guys can play quickly and have endurance at 305 pounds. And some guys are carrying 20 more pounds than they should and they sure. can't, they can't play. So for him to check in over 300 pounds and then during the week of practice, show foot quickness, show agility. He was phenomenal getting to the second level. I mean, yeah. just phenomenal getting to the second level. Um, and we saw that in the game, you know, he had a great second level block uh, to, to spring open one of the long runs that they had. And so, uh, I thought, and I thought his drive blocking was good in team periods as well. There's a couple times he came off, the center would be engaged with somebody, and Hainsey would come off and just blast the guy, and then they'd get the the double team push. That was good to see. So um, he didn't get a ton of those chances at Notre Dame because he was a lot of times working on the edge one on one. So 
I was impressed with what I saw from him. And, and I was impressed with how quickly he took to center. Because you know, Vince, one of the hardest things to do for an offensive lineman is to snap and step as one simultaneous yeah. motion. Yes. And he had no problems with that. Like I said, there's one, you know, bad snap, a couple that, you know, you want to work on. But overall, I thought his snaps were relatively accurate, but it was never a snap, then step, then hands. It was snap, step, hands, all as one. And to see him pick up on that so quickly was an impressive thing to see and really helped him a lot during this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. And as, as you discussed on yesterday's show, NFL teams are carrying seven, eight offensive linemen in a game. You have a guy like Robert Hainsey that could literally play all five positions in a, in a pinch and start at four of them, Yeah, uh, to me, is going to boost his draft stock. So I think anyone that had questions about his size, his ability to compete against bigger players coming into this draft thing is going to say, okay, box checked. Uh, and then, of course, he blew it away in the interviews, which no one was is surprised by that. So Robert Hansey does his thing, which is fantastic, and uh, and, and I think I think you and I kind of expected uh, that situation out of Robert Hansey. I'm glad that he fulfilled what we thought would happen, uh, but again, I think his versatility is going to be huge. I think that um, yeah, I, he's he's also you know we talk about you know having good guys in the room. Mm -hmm. I, he, he's a good guy to have in the room, and then mm -hmm. he also backs it up with his play. And I, and I think that's that's really the key for me. If I'm building a football team, I want, you know, as much as I can, I want good people as well as good players. And he checks all those boxes. Yeah. Um, do you think? What do you think? You know, it's day two kind of kid, two three around two three in that neighborhood for him. That, just, that one's a little tougher for me. I'm not. I, you know, okay. I don't know. I don't know if I am enough of a draft expert to say that he will get taken in that range. I think he is. Uh, and okay. so here. You know, I thought in the game, I thought he showed exactly what he did in practice. Very good performance in the game. Um, uh, excellent performance in the game. Him and Banks both played extremely well in the game. And so when you combine that with the Prax performance, I, I I viewed him as a guy that proved that he can be a starter in the National Football League. That's big for me. I think, I think if you're an NFL scout and you had him on your board as a guy we want to have for depth, for versatility, mm -hmm. he – flying colors he he checked that off so fifth yeah. sixth round pick if you're a team however that didn't view him as a starter i think you're rethinking that now okay i think you're going back and you're watching the notre dame film again you're talking right. to harry he you're talking to, to to people that you know some d-line some line coaches that maybe to played against him and you're saying you know let's 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 do a redo on this hainsey kid and let's look at him in a different light Okay. Uh, and like I said, it, it just takes one team to fall in love with you yeah. for him to be a second, third round pick. To me, I view him as a second, third round player because I think he's a a 10 year starter in the National Football League. He'll never be a dominant. I, I just don't I don't know if he physically will ever be like the dominant player that, a, you know, sure. some of the other guys are. But when you look at a guy like Zach Martin, who just does his job snap after snap after snap after snap there's a lot of similarities be for me between robert hainsey and zach martin okay. i think the only thing that's different is i think zach martin is a naturally little bigger guy yeah. i think that's the thing for me um but i have a feeling that robert hainsey after the senior bowl senior bowl performance is going to be someone that a lot of these nfl teams are going to look at and say we gotta we gotta take a fresh look at him because yeah. the way he performed this week and then you look at his resume like 37 career starts, two-time captain at Notre Dame, finished his career as an, as an uh, all-ACC academic player, uh, checked every box, played well in big games, dominated Patrick Jones and Rashad Weaver when they matched up against Pitt during the week of, you know, during during the year, uh, dominated Chris Rump from Duke this year, you know, really just played well, really played well against Clemson the second time, both times, played well against Alabama. He checks every box except great size. That's it. Yeah. And so uh, that means he's not a first-round pick, right? That doesn't mean yeah. he's a seventh-round yeah. pick. Right. So for me, I think Robert Hainsey probably helped himself as much as any Notre Dame player okay. at the senior bowl. Okay. Good stuff on Robert Hainsey.